Stable Diffusion has some new variational autoencoders available. What does this even mean? And can it help improve your image generation? Let's dive straight in, find out what is going on. So here it is, Stability AI, V-A-E-F-T-E-M-A. -E what a name. What's going on in here? Well, this is a new variational autoencoder available for Stable Diffusion that you can use in the automatic 1111 web UE. That's what I used for all these tests, and that's what all of this information is based on. Certainly worked today, 27th of October, whatever version of 11.11 that is, today that's the version that I tested all of this on. So what is a VAE? As, as I say here, simplified, a VAE, a variational autoencoder, does encoding and decoding from a latent space helped by regularized training to help avoid overfit. Yeah, I know, basically it makes really pretty images for us. So if we can change the VAE, can we change the images that are generated? Are they better? Let's find out. This is apparently what this is meant to do. So there, there is a couple of new versions in here and a couple of different flavors. So let's let's just go through it first of all. So there's lots of links in here and they all sort of point to all the same models. So they've got this stability AI one and then there's a link. They say come here, but you go over there and it's not actually there at all because they've they've added this confis bit in there. So you take that confis bit out, you put that bit in, and that's that's where the link actually goes. So that, that link is broken, but that is how to fix it. But they all have the same models in any way, so it doesn't honestly matter which URL you go to. All the same information is there. And what is that information? Well, basically, there's two new models, and of course, there's two flavors of stable diffusion, as everybody knows. So the two different flavors we're going to call diffusers, and original. So within both of those flavors, you've got an EME or an MSE option. So if you're using diffusers, it's got the code down here. So if we pop over to the diffusers side, there we go. How to use diffusers. You can integrate this fine tuned VAE to your existing diffusers workflows by including VAE argument to the stable diffusion pipeline. And it gives you the example there. So essentially we are adding this VAE in. So there's the name of it there, SD VAE FTEMA. And remember, there are two versions of it. There's an FTMSE and an FTEMA version. This is the EMA version it's got here. Whoops, EMA version. And then when you're passing your pipeline, also pass the VAE through. So that's the diffusers version. If you're using the original version, so like you've got a checkpoint file, for example, with automatic 11.11's web UE, then don't worry. If you scroll down, <laughs> there's some links here. So that's the original VAE. That's the first one there. And then they've got these two extra ones there, the 560,000 and the 840,000, right? So those are the two different flavors. One's the diffusers, one's the checkpoint versions. And then you've got the two, the FTEMA and the uh, MSE. So EMA or MSE, two different flavors, two different versions. So four files in total, but you're probably only going to want to use two of them unless you, like me, you use both versions. So you probably want all, all four. Okay. So if you're using automatic 11.11, then just download either of those two checkpoints. You will, of course, need to accept the license agreement. So those are the original ones. If you want to go to that web page for the original ones, but exactly the same files as mentioned are linked here. So just click on that. That'll start downloading it. Download it into your wherever you want. I actually put my models into the, a new VAE directory there. That's where I actually downloaded mine too. I made models VAE, made a new directory, put them all in there just so I've got all the VAEs in one particular place. But the choice is yours. Download the file wherever you want it to. Then you've got whichever checkpoint. Download them both because play with them both because why not? Because why not? Okay, so help, I'm faced with the choice. Which one do I pick? Well, as mentioned, you need to know if you're using diffusers or the original stable diffusion one. There's the diffusers code. If you're using the diffusers code, you just put that in. That will download the model for you. Don't forget, there's not just the EMA version, there's the MSE version as well. So change that, you know, so it downloads the one that you want. And uh, and that, that's it. That's how you do it in diffusers. Checkpoint is if you're using the automatic 11.11 web UE, so download that, save it somewhere. Which one Which one is better? Which Is the EMA better or is the MSE better? Surely the MSE is better because that was that was trained on more steps, so that has to be the better one, right? I, 
I don't know. Let's find out. I'll find out in a minute. I'll show you some pictures. So how do I use these? So I'm using the automatic 1111 web UE. What do I need to do to get these done? Well, the, the easy mode is just to add VAE path onto the end of the, uh, the command you use to run it. So assuming you're, you know, you're just a normal person, you'd run it like that. So you Python web UE auto launch and there I'm passing my VAE checkpoint that's that's where i've got it saved now if you're using microsoft windows then you'll probably be using some sort of file here so we've got a web ue user dot bat so if you have a look at that so that's where you'd set your command line arguments because i've got a command line so this is exactly the same as up there it's just passing the vae path so that does exa exactly the same thing basically it still runs python web ue <laughs> but it puts this command line on there for you. So that's all that web UE user does. It's, it's a, a very simple little program. So just put your command lines in there, set your VAE path. Don't forget, if you've got spaces in there, then you're going to have to put your, your path in some sort of quotes on Microsoft Windows or you know basically just avoid spaces in any of your directory names for, for ease of use. But that's the same command line that I can use as a normal person just to start up. The web UE. So here's another way that you can be sure that it's actually using your VAE weights is because it tells you when it's actually loading up. So if we have a look down in this window here, it's doing these diffusers, wrappers, it's loading weights. So it's, it's lo loaded my SE and there, loading VAE weights. There you go. So it's loaded the weight. So now I know that I'm using those new 84,000 MSE weights. So, all right, so what do, what do these actually do then? What do these actually do? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Now, I did a number of tests, all using the Automatic 11.11 Web UE, same sort of settings. What were those settings? They were these. So I used three different samplers here, Euler A, Euler and DDIM, and just two different seeds and three different tests. So test one is a photograph of a very handsome, nerdy man with brown eyes, just so we can have a look at the different detail that we get in the brown eyes. The second test was a detailed, intricate, psychedelic Rococo art style mug, so that we can have a look at a lot of fine detail and a lot of colors and things like that. And then also, as they show text in the original one here, if you have a look over here, when you can scroll down, they've got some more visualizations there for you to look at. So those are the... Uh, the EMA on the left, MSA in the middle, and the original one on the right. So in theory, the one on the right should be uh, the, the low end, and these should be better. And, and you can sort of see the MSE is not bad at text. It's, it's pretty good at text. So there's a, a variety of different images that you can have a look at there as well. But let's have a look at the results that I got. All right, so here we go with the nerdy man. So there is the nerdy man. That's the original VAE. And... It's not bad. It's not done a bad job. That is that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's have a look at the 56,000. And we can see, you probably saw the various changes there, but the eyes, the eyes have definitely become more round. Let's go back to the original. So there, they're sort of blurry. And again, those pupils change. And those, those go from blurry to slightly more clear. So it's, it's definitely improving some of the fine detail. And then here's the 84,000, the 56, the 84. So the 84 again seems to have, yeah, so that's the original model. And if you look particularly at that eye on, on the, the end picture there, definitely, definitely seems to get better. So it's, it's very minimal change, as you can see. There's not a lot of difference between the original, the 56,000 and the 84,000. It is. It is very, very subtle, um, but it is, it does seem better. It does seem better. Obviously, it's entirely up to your own eye and your own preference as to what you want. But the 84,000 is meant to be a little bit smoother as well. So 56,000 might have a few more details in. It's difficult to tell. You see the hair changes as well, but it is, it is very, very, very subtle indeed. All right, let's look at a mug then let's have a look at a mug so here we've got the original one with the mug and we've got a lot of fine details and it's okay it's not too bad but let's let's have a look at the 56,000 and that's again it's difficult see that mug is quite obviously different that's got a different bit on the handle with the 56 but a lot of the other detailing 
is very subtle indeed. It does seem to have more, it's slightly less blurred. There is slightly more detail there. And if we compare the 56 to the 84, so again, that handle changes with 84, 56, 84. It's really, really subtle. You probably can't even tell the difference at all on a YouTube video. You might have to run these tests for yourself, but it is very, very, very subtle between all three of those. There's, there's the one obvious change on that handle, but otherwise it's, it's tough to tell. The 84 is definitely a little bit smoother. There's, there's slightly more detail in the 56 compared to the 84, but that's, that is tough to tell on those. All right, let's have a look at the text. All right, so here we have the original, 56,000 and 84,000. So again, really, really, really similar pictures. That R is, it's actually worse on the 56,000 and better on the 84 and the original. <laughs> but it's, it's very, very subtle. It is very, very subtle. So that's, that's my testing. That's, that's the testing I've done. So quick question, is it worth it? Um, and my answer is sure, why not? Everything helps, doesn't it? I mean, it definitely improved the eyes on the portrait. I'd say yes for that use case. For the other ones, purely a matter of taste, I would say, personally. But if that was interesting to you, maybe you'd like to click on this video next.